delighted that you decided to, as it were, tune in to the miraculous medium of video. Um, my name is Shields. Tony Doc Shields to my friends, but you knew that already, didn't you, friend? Stone. Oh. Stone. The stone, this lump of serpentine rock, is an oracular speaking stone. It can tell you things by its movements. In Cornwall, it will be called a logan stone. It is a very, very magical object, very old, older than humankind, older even than Doc Shields himself. The stone is haunted. I acquired it years ago from a, an old Cornish cunning man by the name of William Pigwiggin, who was a kind of spellcaster. And the stone was given to the Pigwiggin family as a gift by St. Petrock. And so, rather appropriately, I think, uh, I call the stone Logan Petrock. It is very, very magical. Observe and marvel. Logan Petrock Serpentine, as this wizard now intones, give to us a living sign, do my bidding, Logan Stone. It's alive. Ah! Damned, damned thing. Those were the days, the tent show summers, the fairs, Doc Shields and company with Professor Calvini, Punch and Judy, Tom Fool's Theatre of Tom Foolery, a marvellous madness about it all. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, I promise you marvel, wonder, astonishment, Doc Shields, Wizard of the Western World, presents his unique exposition of thaumaturgic theatricality. Doc Shields and company with the mysterious Maureen. <laughs> this, in fact, get up, is the very camera that I used to photograph Nessie back in May 1977. A cheap and shoddy Zenith EM. You notice that the lens is missing. That is because it isn't attached to the camera at this moment. Nevertheless, this is the historical object, the very one, the famous camera that took the most famous two photographs of the Loch Ness Monster back in 1977. But do I digress? Not really. I go back to 1976, that long hot summer, when the great Cornish sea serpent Morgar first raised its ugly head in Falmouth Bay. And at that time, I became involved in the invocation of beasties of that very nature, assisted uh, by a coven of several naked witches. You can understand the symbolism of my technique. We were successful. I photographed both Morgar and the Loch Ness Monster. And in later years, two or three 
humpy-backed, serpentine Irish creatures. It is a fascinating field from which I have... Well, now, look at this. Press cuttings, newspaper clippings, as our transatlantic cousins call them. Clippings always reminds me of toenails, kind of things that witches collect. But no matter. These things are just uh, a few examples of um, what we've achieved, if you can call it that, over the years. Uh, publicity of this kind is quite easy to achieve. All you have to do is go for it.